What is up, guys? I am Ascari Husky. And I am Soren Sykvik, also a Husky. <laughs> and today we are here to explain some ways to make a convention, or fur cons more specifically, a little more affordable. Guys, we're sitting here at Anthropon 2018, and we figured this would be a fun idea to do. Um, now, I know myself, I've done conventions on like $2,000, and I've done conventions on like $50. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, today, we're just kind of here to like explain how to make a fur con a little more affordable. Uh, this isn't like a list video or anything, this is just more of a like, hey, Here's how to do it. Like a discussion so, topic. Yeah, so uh, the one thing uh, I really do want to start with, guys, is if you do plan on going to a con, the first thing I want to stress to you is make a budget. Don't do what I do or what I've done and just go to a con and be like, I got enough money because <laughs> once you go home and look at your bank account, you might cry a little. Um, Been there, done that. Yeah, several but, times. Uh, <laughs> Guys, uh, Soren is another furry YouTuber. He's been on my channel Hello. before. Uh, go check out his content. And Soren, you're like my first real collab that isn't an interview. You've collabed with Majira that like wasn't an interview though. But that that was on his channel. Was it? Oh. So Soren's like oh, my yeah. first real <laughs> collaboration. So if it's like a little weird or I'm like weird or don't know what to say, that's why. <laughs> but uh, yeah. This is my first real collab too. Hey, look, <laughs> collab virgins. <laughs> <laughs> the first, I want to say like one of the best, probably good ways to make a con a little more affordable is food. Oh yeah. Food. Don't go out oh, to eat shit. for every meal. Um, Just don't. <laughs> going especially in, oh my God. Okay, so even though Anthrocon gives you uh, the little things mm -hmm. to, yeah. you know, help make restaurants a little more affordable. Going out for every meal is really expensive. So yeah. let's say you go somewhere and it's a sit down and it's like, what, 20 bucks? 20, 25, 20, 30. 25, you gotta leave a tip. Now, if you do that like three or four times a day or me, like six or seven, <laughs> uh, that adds up really, really fast. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, if you do four meals at $25 each, that's $100 that you could have spent on something else. And that's discluding a tip. Not, yeah, not including the tip. That's like, that's assuming like, like I get there's a McDonald's a block away from the con, but come on, what the fuck, who wants that shit? I work at McDonald's, I I'm can't so stand sorry. it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so at BLFC, were you at BLFC? I was not. Okay, so at BLFC, there's a Walmart right across the street from the hotel, and when we were there, when, when I was there at least, we went to the Walmart, we bought a loaf of bread for $3, a block of cheese for $7, and condiments for another four dollars i think it was like a total of 12 or 13 dollars and that fed our entire room for the entire con Shit. yeah so don't go out to eat all the time like it's totally okay to go out to eat but you know don't so do it for every my meal. biggest my biggest tip too if you're going to a convention not every hotel has a refrigerator in their room that is i true. found that out the hard way last year Oof. Yeah, uh, when I got to Kian's room uh, Sunday night, the night, the week before MFF, because I was already at MFF the week before, even though I lived <laughs> 20 minutes away. Um, Don't blame you. <laughs> not every hotel has a fridge. So the one thing I'm going to like really, really recommend is if you're going to a con and you plan on bringing something that's either A, frozen or B, cold, if you have a suite, don't worry about it. I guarantee you have a fridge, a microwave, etc. But in a normal room like we are in the West End, a fridge is rare. I don't even think you guys have one. We do. It's right okay, here. Okay, <laughs> so you do. Um, but like the West End has a fridge, but I know the not courtyard the Marriott do. doesn't, and not every room in the West End has a fridge. And on top of that, none of the rooms have a microwave. So if you're bringing like Easy Mac or something, you're probably going to have a bad time. Yeah. Uh, but like maybe you really want to go to the con. You need to eat. Let's be honest, you're going to be here for two or three days, depending on, or if you're me, a week and a half. <laughs> right? I, I, I'm I, doing this one, like, short, so for me, that's uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and that's five days. FAU, last year in August, uh, it ended up getting cut short on accident, but we were planning on staying in D.C. an extra week to go see, like, all the stuff in D.C. Okay. And... We didn't because some personal stuff came up. I would say if you're gonna budget for food, uh, give yourself probably twenty-five or thirty dollars for uh, um, like a an out a to meal. eat meal, a fancy meal. Give yourself if you plan on going out to eat every day, like I have, and I'm 
kind of doing this con, give yourself a minimum of thirty dollars per meal. At least. Yeah. At least. My... And don't live off the con suite. Yes. I did that once. My my friend Spunky went with us to a con one year on uh, business per diem. Like she was in the town for business, I think. And she was getting like $60 a day on her per diem, and that was just enough for her to be able to afford to go out to eat. So I would say, if you're gonna go out to eat every day, budget at least $60, $70, because it's gonna be expensive unless you're eating at McDonald's, and nobody wants to eat at McDonald's for every every meal. Fuck McDonald's. Definitely budget for food, but if you're really like a tight budget, and you really wanna eat, bring yourself some bread, jelly, cheese, or meat, or yeah, peanut butter seriously and jelly tight with. budget, Maybe ramen. I mean, you can go to Sam's Club, Costco, get what, like 30 or 40 of them for like five bucks? Yeah. At, at BLFC, Nas found it was cheaper to buy a microwave for his suite that didn't have a microwave in it. Or, or I don't know if he had a suite, but he bought a microwave and he bought ramen. And it was cheaper for him to buy the microwave and ramen and feed himself for the whole con than go out to eat every time at the con. And another thing I will say too is the nice thing about eating and not having to go out to eat at a con is you're missing less of the con. Yeah. Because if you have to go out to eat, sometimes you have to wait for a table, then you have to wait for them to make your food. You can be in there for to, upwards of an hour. You can easily, minimum, an hour. And it can be a social event. Definitely, if it's a social thing, do go it. for it, yeah. But here's the thing. Every time I've gone out to eat, even though I go out to eat a lot of the meals, I'm going with someone. It's not a, hey, I'm hungry, I'm feeding myself. It's a, hey, Want to get food? Yeah. Let's do it. It's you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I haven't it's... I haven't gone out for food by myself at all here. I don't think every single time I'm with at least one or two other people. Yeah. So outside of food, I want to say like another really good way to save for a con, and this is gonna sound really crazy, especially if the con is like really far out. Pre-reg. Yes, pre-reg. Pre-reg as far in advance as you can. If reg opens. If, if Reg opens a week from now, from the time you want to go to, like, a year from now, Reg. Do it! Just do it! Yes. I forgot to pre-register for Ferlandia, and it cost me almost 150% of what it would have if I had just pre reg And, like, don't do what I did. Just do it! Because I ended up not being able to get a sponsor registration, like I always try to do because I like to get the t-shirt and stuff. And then I never got the con t-shirt from Ferlandia. So and it's like, if you want merch, like, that's another good way to save money. Like, let's say you want the merch. Sponsor, pre-reg pre <laughs> is a sponsor. Because if you pre-reg months out in advance, you're saving a lot of money. They even say that, like, all, like, MFF site, Anthrocon, yeah. Indie Furcon, I actually haven't reg for Indie Furcon yet. You could probably do that. I have a suite and I haven't reg for <laughs> I, I have a suite, or I have a room for a Denver, and I haven't pre-regged yet for Denver, but and like, I know it closes in a week, I'm like, fuck, fuck, fuck. But it's like, it. pre-reg as far in advance, because it makes it cheaper. Now, maybe yeah. you don't have the money, sure, but try to get put that money to the side if you know for a fact you're going to the con, yeah. because regging on site, two things. If you reg on site, that line is going to be ridiculously long. Especially a at ton, big cons. A ton of people... Go and if you're like MFF last year, they might Ooh. have to turn you away. Yeah. Because MFF filled up completely. So. <clears throat> yeah, at Ferlandia, our attendance was like like 13, 1400. <clears throat> Not a big con. It's like a medium sized con. I was in the reg line for an hour and a half. Yeah. And if you reg, if you reg on site, there. So more than pre regging saving you money, it saves you a ton of time. And time. if you're saving time. You're Guess saving what? money. You're, time is money. And more than that, you also have time to hang out with friends. Make if YouTube you, videos. <laughs> yeah, you have, you have more time. Like, the pre-reg line last year for AC was an hour, but the reg line was two. MFF, the pre-reg line was... The pre-reg line, I got in... Uh, I don't think I had to stand in line, actually. Okay, four? four? Yeah, four. My cameraman says four. My trusted cameraman. So, it was... I just remember the guy behind me in line was... Hey! And then by the time we got his, his stuff, he was like, he was like us. Like, yep. it was that long. Yeah. But the reg line was two times longer. Oh, yeah. So if you pre-reg to a con, you're saving a ton of time, a really decent amount of money. And if oh, you yeah. pre-reg as a sponsor, you're actually saving money on merch. 
because if you want all of the merch they give you, that's a lot of money. And a lot of sponsors and a lot of cons, they give you a free meal. Oh my god, look, the last one! Free money! Free, <laughs> <laughs> free food! But it's like, uh, pre-regging and bringing your own food are two really, like, it sounds crazy to put out money for something you're not sure you're going to in advance. Oh yeah. But it makes sense because it's cheaper. They can always refund you. Yeah, if you don't go, uh, a lot of cons will actually also ship you your goodies. Like MFF, if you don't make it to MFF for some reason, they'll send you all of your sponsor and patron gifts and all that to wherever you live if you don't make it to the con. And on top of that, pre-regging actually helps the convention a lot more too as to, um, hey, how many people are going to be here? Hey, what do we need to expect? What do we need to do? On-site reg really messes that up. Yeah. Like, I get the... I, I'm, I'm sure every con has a plan for it, but it, pre-regging really helps everybody. Another really good way is don't room on your own. So oh, yeah. let's say, say. <laughs> this is your first con, and maybe you haven't been to a meet yet. That's okay. There is even an app, Con Roomies, where you can room with random strangers. Now, is it weird? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah! <laughs> but here's the thing. If you really, so really want cheaper. to go to a con, it is way cheaper. Because if you're if you're rooming on your own, all right? For the Westin, for all the days that I'm here, split between four people cost me about $280. Yeah. For just myself. Now, if you're on your own, multiply that by four. That's how much you're going to be spending on your own. You'll be that's paying upwards of thousand dollars. And that's discluding because of how I had to drive. Parking, yep. and if you really have to go to a con, I'll touch on this later, gas. Oh. Gas. And I had to rent a car to get here. I had to. Bu I forgot to budget gas for BLFC, and I actually had to call my parents and be like, Hey, can I have $100 so that I can get home and not be stranded in the middle of nowhere? That's not good. No. <laughs> but it's My like, parents were very understanding, which was, thank God, but... But, honestly, bring your own food, pre-reg, room with other people. Now, here's the thing. Maybe you're rooming with five other people, and you're the sixth person. If it's really bringing down the room cost, and I'm not condoning this, because a lot of hotels don't like no more than four people. Yeah. But they kind of give you leeway with five. And both beds are full. Suck it up, sleep on the floor, bring a cot, bring a mat, bring yeah. something. You you if how you a, gotta ask yourself, how bad do you want to go through this con? <laughs> I slept on this pile of pillows right here last night. Oh hey, your bed's nicer than mine right now. Especially with uh, nice hotels like the West End, there's like five pillows on this bed. Just ask your roommates for the extra ones, because let's be honest, nobody needs five pillows to sleep. Right. Throw the extra ones on the floor and use that as a bed. It'll bring your cost down. And on top of that, like, if you're rooming with someone who has a big, like, they got a single bed and you're only rooming with two other people, three of you. Like, small cons are always cheaper. Oh, yeah. So if you're, like, last year at IFC when I went, the room, total room cost for all four days cost me, like, only $110. That's really Split good. Split between four people. That's so good. Indie Fur Con was hella fucking cheap. Dude, I got a suite this year. It's going to be the same month that I paid last year. Yeah. That's, wow. Small con. So if you want to really go to a con, I get you really want to go to AC or MFF. You really want to meet your favorite YouTubers. But big cons can sometimes be overwhelming. The nice thing about small cons is, is usually they're more local. They have more local people. It's not people from all over. And they're a lot cheaper. That was another thing I was going to say. Don't necessarily go to Anthrocon or MFF. Like Ascari was saying, you... Sure, you want to meet the people that you look up to, your favorite YouTubers, your favorite first shooters, but look around the local area that you live in, because I'd be willing to bet, unless you live in Alaska or, like, Hawaii, maybe, there's probably a con in your state. If you live in uh, Washington, you've got uh, Anthro Northwest. If you live in Oregon, you've got Fur Furlandia. Uh, California's got, what, two or three. Texas has several. Uh, I guarantee you, if you live in the 48 states, there are probably one or two cons within a day's drive of your house so like look those up because driving you know 200 miles is going to be hella cheaper than buying a 400 500 600 dollar airplane ticket round trip to go across the country another thing that'll really help make a con cheaper budget for gas now i really got to do this this i i was forced more so than usual to do this this past week before anthrocon because my transmission blew up. Oof. 
Yeah. That's tough. So if you don't have a reliable car, like I do, I don't have a reliable car. Neither do I. And if you don't have a reliable car and you're going to a con cross country, you're going to have to budget for either a rental, a flight, a train ticket, or if you're crazy, a boat ticket. <laughs> <laughs> Keep in mind, a lot of rental car companies will rent to anyone 21 or older. A lot of times you'll hear the number 25, but they will rent to people 21 and older. They're just going to charge you hella upmark. Yeah, on that. so... Let's say you're using a rental car. If you're leaving from that area and you're going to a con cross country, try to see if you can't find other locals going to the con. Do you know them? No, but you'll get to know them. Yeah, carpool. Carpool. And even if you guys don't talk, it's going to bring your gas costs down. It's going to bring everything down because here's the thing. On my Grand Prix, it cost me $60 to fill up my tank. It would take me 250 miles. Yeah. The... That hurts me inside. <laughs> Uh, my my Subaru that I'm driving right now, uh, it takes about uh, $50 to fill up the tank. It seats five people. So if we split the cost and we're driving length of one tank, that's $10 per person to get from wherever we are to the con. And obviously, it's not always going to be one tank of gas, but even if it's two or three tanks of gas, $150 split between five people, that's only $30 per person way cheaper than paying for it all yourself and especially cheaper than buying an airplane ticket so definitely make a budget for a con guys um and then the very last thing that i really want to point out is parking very very few big cons have free parking if you're going to anthrocon mff fwa pff you're not getting free parking that's another nice thing about small local conventions is you get free parking at IFC and First Squared, you don't get charged for parking. Yeah. For However, Landia, free parking. if you're going to a convention that's in a big city like Pittsburgh or by a big air airport like O'Hare, there's going to be a charge for parking. It's not it's going not to be, be free. And parking, if you and do your research on parking. Who cares? Maybe you walk a block more. I could have easily have parked in the parking garage directly across the street from my hotel. But here's the thing, you know how much that would have cost me a day for four or five days I was here? $25. The Ooh. garage I'm in, I got to walk a block and a half. Not terrible, right? No, that's not bad at all. Half that. That's, there you Do go. Do <laughs> your research. And if you're lucky, MFF, if you're in the Hyatt, you get complimentary parking. I'm not in the Hyatt. <laughs> Fun fact, if you're even not in the Hyatt, you still don't have to pay for parking. <laughs> don't ask how I know that. <laughs> I'm at the Lowe's at Hyatt. The, the, here's another like last-minute tip. You don't have to be in the con hotel. You might be able to find a cheaper hotel that's a little farther away. Like Obviously, don't go you know, a 20-minute drive away from the con, because then you're going to have to be paying for parking on both ends. But like for MFF this year, I'm going to be in the Lowe's hotel, which is about a 5-10 minute walk from... Uh, the Hyatt and the convention center. And if center. you are, and if you are, like, that hotel, if you are at a hotel that is a, just a decent walking distance, I can almost guarantee you, if you're at a con, there's a shuttle. Oh, yeah. So, if you really want to make the con cheap and you're going cross-country, maybe consider renting a car one way so all you have to do is drop it off, not pay for parking, use the shuttle, budget, just, just budget for your con. This is just some tips. This is some stuff we've done. This is some stuff like that. It's only a few tips. We can't make everything perfect, but we can try to help. Um, guys, that was just some of our tips and stories. I know it's a little bit of a longer video, but it's yeah. like something that I really wanted help. And there's a lot of stuff we didn't touch. Oh, yeah. But look at your day-to-day -day life. What do you need? What do you do? Do you go out to eat a lot? Do you? If you go out to eat a lot, great. If you don't, maybe budget to go out to eat a lot because, hey, you might bring food, but you're gonna wanna be social. Yep. Just be sure when you go to a con, do your research, budget, pre-reg. Because if you go last minute, you might not have enough money. You might look at your bank account and go, oh, I have X amount of dollars, get to the con, and then after the con go, oh shit, what the fuck happened? <laughs> you know? That's way too relatable. And I've done that. I, I have I've too. done that. But that it's was like, my BLFC. And it's like, how did I do a con on $60? Well, I'm going to close with this. How did I do it? I'm I drove really back and forth to the con every day. I found a local I knew in the area where I had to walk 15 minutes, but it was parking was free. 
I ate at home every day before I left and once I got home and brought lunch with me. I didn't spend a dollar at MFF 2016. All of the money I spent, the reason it cost me $60? Registration. Remember what I said? How much gas cost me? A lot. $60 a tank. Oh yeah. All Did I you... paid for was gas. I didn't even ghost the con. I regged. I pre-regged. Hella way in advance. Oh yeah. I pre-regged way in advance. That'll do it. <laughs> that con cost me no more than 60 bucks. That's and the means. best way to make a con affordable, and if let's say you're a local but you don't want to stay in the hotel, you don't have to. You don't have to stay in the hotel to go to the con. Yeah, at Ferlandia. Just don't sleep in your car. <laughs> yeah, at Ferlandia, uh, it's a small con. It's at an airport hotel. The parking is free, and my house is 20 minutes away. So I had a bunch of friends over. I was like, guys, I've got a guest room. I've got an RV. Come stay at my house. It'll make it cheaper for everyone, and we can just, you know, share the money to carpool. It took us one tank of gas to get to and from the con every day. Uh, we ate at home several times. Our total cost for Ferlandia was basically registration, a tank of gas, and that was it. Like, you can make these cons ridiculously cheap. You don't have to make them thousand dollar adventures exactly. like MFF is. <laughs> so guys, for me. Uh, this is just our personal opinions. There might be other ways to save for the con, but the biggest piece of advice we can give is just budget for it. Plan for it. And if you don't have the money, don't do it. Look for your local cons, and hey, you might have a lot of fun. So guys, I just wanted to thank you for watching this video. Guys, this was Soren. Um, we also did a video on his channel, so go check it out. It'll be linked or somewhere on, I don't, I have no idea. We'll probably put up one of the end it, cards. It'll be, it'll be like an end card. I'm like so used to the interviews where it's like, get yeah, interviews here. I'm like, wait, no, it's like, give me a second. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but guys, we also did a video on his channel. Go check out that video. That video is going to be uh, tips on how to pack and what exactly you need to bring to a furry convention, especially if it's your first time. Exactly. So guys, I just want to thank you for watching. Go check out the video on his channel as well. Don't forget to sub on his channel. Hit his bell before you hit mine. He makes awesome content. He's really cool. Guys, uh, I wanted to thank you for watching. Um, and I wanted to thank Soren for doing this collaboration oh, with Oh, thank me. you. So, yeah. <laughs> so guys, I'm Ascari Husky. I'm Soren Husky. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't Bye -bye. forget to check his out. Don't check out Ascari first. He said ding my bell, but ding his bell. No, ding his. 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 No. His. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Bye. <laughs>